But you're being well looked after, as far as I can see. Thank you. Yes, Carl is an excellent doctor and a good friend. Good. I, I should be going. Oh, please, stay for the wedding. I can't. It wasn't all my fault. I was a teenage kid. How could it be my fault? This, that's not what I'm saying, but you were just too much for just me. I mean, I, I did the best I could, but your behaviour was putting Zeke and Rachel in danger. And when you, you hurt Rachel like that, well, I, I just couldn't cope. I, I should have tried harder, but I, I didn't. I, I couldn't. I, I had to look after the others. I know. I, I went too far, but it was more than that. You know what? You're so much more like me than your mother. We're both too proud and private to let things go. You can't live the rest of your life weighed down with this rage against a dead man. Please, stay for the ceremony. At least do that much for me. We are gathered here in the sight of God to join together in holy matrimony this man, Alexander Kinsky, and this woman, Susan Smith. But more than that, we come to join Susan to the Kinsky family in the knowledge that she will become not only a wife to this man, but also a mother to these children. Welcome then, all of you, as we share in the joy of joining together this woman, Susan Smith, and this family, Alexander, Rachel, Ezekiel, and Katia Kinski. Susan, you have brought me happiness that I never thought I'd feel again. And you have taught me what love truly is. And I will love you and honor and cherish you for every moment that we are together. <laughs> Alexander, do you affirm these vows? I do. Susan? Alex, you are the most wonderful man I have ever known. And every day with you has been like a lifetime of love. And I will love you every day for the rest of my life. Susan, do you affirm these vows? I do. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Alex, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone, we should, we should get a photograph. Can't you, you hop in and you two father. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Perfect. Be strong, okay? I'm glad you stayed. I'm sorry, Rachel, for everything that happened. It's okay. We're together now. When it happens. Yeah? Do you think you'll see Mum? You know what, Zeke? I think you will. No. Kids, quickly, he's awake. Rachel, see? Uh, uh, thank you for coming back to us. It's okay, Dad. Look after the kids when I'm gone. 
I will. I promise. I love you. All of you. We love you too, Dad. How long have you been a nurse? A couple of years. Oh, good for you. How are Rachel and Zeke at school? You're their teacher, right? Yes. Oh, you know, a few problems settling in. <laughs> Believe me, I know. But they're very, very bright kids. Alex is so glad you came. Thank heavens for Rachel. It's been a strange day, but it's, but it's made things clearer. Has it? What things? Is there somewhere I can have a lie down? Um, yeah, there's a spare room at the end of the hall. If you need anything, just, just call out. If he wakes up, call me. There's something I have to say to him. We are on our wedding night. What's next? A honeymoon. On the dress on here in her way. Who comes up with something like that? Susan. I'm here. I want you to make that journey with the kids. I will. You have made me so happy. I love you so much. Please don't leave me. And I love you. me to forgive him. But when I realized that I had it was too late. He knew. He knew when you stayed for the wedding. I said awful things to him. I wanted to tell him I wanted to make it right. He knew you loved him. I loved you too. Let's go inside. 